Hello there everybody. It's time for an update video on these Wisconsin Moonstone that I've been tumbling. I just pulled them out of 220 grit. I had them running in 220 grit for about four days. Before that I had them running in a, a mixture of 120-220 grit for four days also. So this is what they look like after after running in that um, 220 grit. So they're a lot more rounded now. I am using some some ceramic in here to help spread the the grid around. Make sure they they stay rounded because they're kind of like some funky funky shapes here. And some pretty nice ones in here. Looking, looking pretty good. So far, no problems. That's a really nice one there. Fantastic. Such a wonderful flash. Love it. All right, let's take a look at the other barrel. See how they they turned out. So I'm just gonna dump this into the water here. Just dump it all in there. I just love the coloring and the and patterns and the stuff. It's really cool. These little tiny pieces can be pretty interesting. Wow, that's really nice. That's gorgeous. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, I think this barrel actually has um, better pieces in it. Wow. That's spectacular. Can't wait for these to be done. So next I think I'm going to be running them uh, in 400 grit for about four days. And then um, I'm going to run it in 600 grit for about four days. Normally I run things for about a week, but um, this stuff is a little bit softer and a little bit more fractured. and and other stuff I'm used to working with so I don't want uh, to ruin it and I, I don't want to rush it either but so um, that is wow that is mind-blowing that's why I don't really want to um, risk running into too long and have the rocks banging against each other longer than they need to I think four days 400 grit 
and four days and 600 grit should be good enough. And then we'll check on them again. All right, we can get them all loaded back into the barrel, get the grit in there and uh, get them fired up and get going again. Okay, so I have them loaded up. You see, I don't have a whole lot of water in there. You don't need to fill them up too much with water. Just to the top of the rocks is, is more than enough water. And uh, I got three tablespoons of grit. You want one tablespoon of grit per pound. This is a three pound barrel, so it's three tablespoons of grit. Same with this one. All right, so my Lord from 33B is, um, been acting up it's been freezing up on me a lot lately so I had this backup harbor freight one and this one you can hear it's pretty quiet it works just as well as the Lord's Home 33B does uh, as far as I'm concerned so yeah we'll check on it um, in a, about a week and a half or so like so I'm gonna run it for four days and 400 grit and then I'll clean them off and then I'll run it for four days and a 600 grit clean them off and then we'll check on them and see what they look like until next time take care and rock on